Instagram is one of, I think, the most underutilized uh, social media platforms that are out there right now for maid services specifically. And the reason is, is because there's just so many, there, there's so much engagement locally on Instagram that whether you search by specific hashtags, whether you search by the actual location, there's so many of your potential customers that are on Instagram right now. And so we've written a guide on this for ZenMade. Um, I think it's the ultimate Instagram guide or the ultimate guide to marketing your maid service on Instagram, something like that. If you Google a Zen made Instagram guide, it'll uh, pop up there and I'm sure we'll have a link somewhere in this general uh, vicinity as I'm saying this. That is one of the most underutilized places that both in terms of paying for ads, the ads on there are getting a little bit more expensive now, but the Instagram story ads are not. And that's a very interesting one because a lot of people are actually watching their friends' stories. And if you've used Instagram a lot, when people are doing that, every three to five stories is actually a sponsored post or a sponsored story. And so paying to do that is a really good, good way to do it. The other thing that you can do is actually just commenting or sending messages that that's one that if you're already spending 20 or thirty thousand dollars a month I probably don't recommend jumping on uh, on Instagram like Sarah Mitchell if you're watching this you probably don't want to spend your time on Instagram but particularly if you're a solo cleaner that's just trying to pick up ten more clients Instagram could be a really really good place and so with that you search the different local hashtags you engage with people and you essentially just you know you're a member of it of the community right it's social media it's it says social for a reason. And a lot of people are not used to receiving non-spammy messages on Instagram. And so being real with people, dropping them a message, you know, you see someone like a local, um, you know, Instagram celebrity, some food blog or something like that. If you see them taking great photos at a restaurant, you could drop them a message with, I would, with, I would say one of either two things. So one would be maybe offering them of going like either, Hey, like I love that restaurant and that's do that if you actually know the restaurant don't use that as a line but you can even follow your favorite restaurants on Instagram and then you can drop people messages that um, that also tag them and blah 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 or the other thing that you could do particularly if it's someone that has a following is you could reach out to them and offer them um, you know some sort of coupon or discount I wouldn't say necessarily a free cleaning but you could offer them some sort of discount and if you gave that out let's say 10 or 20 times if a couple people People took advantage of that offer you might get yourself a new client from one of those Instagram um, influencers but the more powerful thing here is what happens if two or three of them actually post about you on their Instagram profiles and so this is something I've been watching a lot of Gary V any of you guys that watch Gary V um, have probably heard some of this stuff before but doing that sort of one-to-one -one outreach can actually go a long way and so if you're watching this right now, there's a good chance that even though you signed up for the Maid Summit on Facebook or from the Zen Maid email list or from all sorts of different places, there's also a good chance that you actually got a message from the Zen Maid team about this event on Instagram. And what was cool about that was that our team messaged everyone, every maid service owner, asking if they'd be attending the summit. But then I personally responded to every single person that replied to that message. And so now, like after this summit, not only did we get a ton of signups from doing that and a ton of people that just had no idea that we were even running this event until we had messaged them on Instagram, but we've actually started real conversations with real people who are of course our potential customers and so now after the event I can go through our Instagram and even just drop the message and check on what they're using for their scheduling currently like are they already using Zenmate and because we've reached out to them we've offered all of this amazing value through this summit they're much more likely to actually respond even if Zenmate's not for them or they're happy with their current provider and that just makes for a much nicer business it means that all all of our marketing just works a lot, a lot like better.